Well, the U.S. men's basketball team eked out a win over Australia last night, saved by Carmelo Anthony and Kyrie Irving, who scored all of our points in the fourth quarter. Who could have imagined the game would end with Melo and Kyrie taking all the shots and not passing? Australia, you can't take away basketball from us, okay? That's our thing. You already took away all our steakhouses. <laughs> Australia, stick to what you're good at, being very polite and very loud at the same time. Welcome to The Extra Point, the Kicker's daily sports wrap-up show. My name is Brian Tucker. I'm the editor-in-chief here at The Kicker. I'm Zach Phillips, head writer of The Kicker. Now, normally, our friend and colleague Rob King hosts this show, but he is out today. He got that Zika. I gave it to him. It's true. So that paves the way for me and Zach to be the oldest guys on YouTube. Hello. Hi, YouTubers. Hi, kids. Hey, so the big story of day five of the Olympics was Katie Ledecky swimming the U.S. to gold in the 4 by 200 meter freestyle relay. She was actually behind by a body length when she started the anchor leg and finished almost two seconds ahead. Maybe Michael Phelps should have been asking for her autograph. All right, well, day five at the Olympics is in the books. Time to suss out who are the winners and losers, and who's the big loser? Who gets the bronze medal? Well, a lot of people thought going into Rio there would be a lot of disasters, and so far it's been pretty good. But there has been one disaster, and that is the Rio mascot, Vinicius. I think it's Venusius. Venicius. Pretty sure it's Venucius. Venicius. Anyway, either way, look at this thing. Look at it. It's weird. It looks like a kid stuffed inside a cat stuffed inside a monkey. You know what that is? That's a kakunky. Okay, and the silver medal goes to Ryan Lochte for his hair. Check this out. Ryan, you looked so good four years ago, and then you made this decision, let me keep my handsome model good looks, but make it 20 years older. You look like John Slattery in Mad Men. You got this like, evil game show host from the future thing going. Hey, Ryan, Anderson Cooper called. He wishes you good luck. He's very polite. For the gold, we're giving it to Robel Hopti, the heartwarming Ethiopian swimmer. He finished in last place, but he tried his best. I don't know if you saw it. I, I love this story. I'm already on board. I don't need to know anything more about him. I can already see the movie version. Oh yeah, I can see that right now. In a country where everyone ran long distances, one man, wanted to swim. Son, it's four o'clock. Time for you to go run long distance. Paul, I don't want to run long distance. I want to swim. Swim? Round these parts, we run long distance. I don't want your life. A man who did things his own way and the woman who believed in him. Wow, you're different. You don't run long distance like the other guys. I know. I like to swim. Coming this fall, I Like to Swim, starring Paul Giamatti as Robel. We don't like Hollywood whitewashing either, but let's face it, that's what happens. Yep, gotta get that movie sold. All right, time for my take. You know, I don't know if anyone said this before, but NBC has really dropped the ball on Olympics coverage. Okay, I know you can watch the games on demand, live, in prime time, but it's, it's 2016, that's not good enough. Uh, Zach. You can see Olympics 24 hours a day. You can see it on cable. You can see it on the internet. Through the NBC feed, you can see each separate gymnastics event from its own feed. Mm, not good enough, okay? I want to see archery in 3D. I want to see diving in SD. I want a feed of just the shortest gymnasts doing their worst events. I want a feed of that thing in gymnastics where you're watching one gymnast and you hear the crowd cheering something off screen. I want to see what they're looking at in a little bubble that I can move wherever I want on the screen. And I want to be able to put little cat faces on the people in that bubble, okay? I want a kiss feed where if I see two people on screen, they have to kiss. I want a, a feed of whatever's in Michael Phelps's headphones. I want a feed of what's in Michael Phelps's baby's headphones. I want to know what the judo athletes are doing right now. Well, you can't know that because judo ended yesterday. Okay, show me. Do they go home or are they having sex with each other? Come on, NBC, get it together. Yeah, I guess I, w I admit that like, it would be really cool to like see like last night's volleyball match from the perspective of the volleyball, oh, you know? Was there a match last night? Yeah, the US won, it was great. Did you see it? No, no, I was reading. 
not really a media guy. Now it's time for you pick. Take a look at this Italian volleyball player. Watch his serve. Oh, wow, Mr. Skyball. I love it, it's whimsical, like a knuckleball or an underhanded free throw. It's not at all clear to me that it's effective, but this guy definitely has a future sky-serving t-shirts in a minor league baseball game. It's pretty awesome. That's his signature move. So what we want from you is to tell us your signature move in the comments below. Like, I'm a basketball guy. My signature move is I play while crying. And my signature move is I play soccer with my hands. So leave your signature move in the comments below and we'll read the best ones next show. I'm Brian Tucker. I'm Zach Phillips. Thanks for watching The Extra Point. I don't know, do you think I should go Lochte Gray? You're kind of halfway there. Yeah, I mean, it's like, there's that thing called a silver fox, but I feel like that's a pejorative, right? No, people love a silver fox. They're like, sexy. Who's a silver fox? Like, who's is Slattery a silver fox? Like a Yeti. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Yeti's like a silver fox. <laughs>